Hi there, my name's Joy, welcome to my channel. So I'm a mum of two little boys. I have a two-year-old and a three-year-old. Since they've come along, I have found that the house and the clutter and everything it just gets on top of me and is overwhelming. So I'm on a big journey to become a minimalist. I've still got a long way to go. I have got rid of a lot of stuff. You can see in my playlists, there's a big declutters and I've done two massive toy declutters. Yeah, doing that with two little kids on board can seem quite tricky, but actually I've learned a few things that have really helped out, so I thought I would share them with you. Simplify the toys, get rid of them, halve them. The first thing that comes to mind when we think about minimalism and kids and toys, things is, yeah, it's the mountain of toys. And how do we curb this? So my first tip is just to release the guilt about kids and having lots of toys. I've found that actually my kids play better and enjoy the toys more now that they have fewer. When there was so many, it was just kind of overwhelming for them and bombarding their senses. And they didn't know what to play with and I found they'd keep pulling out different toys and playing with it for a little bit and then moving on to the next thing and playing with that for a little bit and moving on to the next thing. And you kind of think, oh gosh, they need lots and lots of different toys. But actually by reducing the number of toys and just really simplifying it for them, they're spending more time. Like my little boy the other day was like, can I play with the train track? And we got that and we played for like hours with it. And it was just, there wasn't that choice. He could just decide easily what he wanted to play with and actually he played with it. There are lots of studies out there that kind of back this up that saying actually you know too many toys is not great for kids and for their development so yeah don't stress about it release all that guilt that you kind of feel of oh I'm not giving my kid enough you are if you give them some really good basic toys and yeah I mean we don't have like a really minimalist toy collection I've got six boxes of toys in the sitting room that that's what they play with really regularly on a daily basis and then there's a few bigger items in their room like my eldest son has a teepee and my little little guy has their play kitchen and obviously that's got lots of pots and pans and bits of fruit and things that are part of that but yeah and then just puzzles and board games and things but nothing nothing beyond that and it might not be minimalist but it's more minimalistic than I had it and it suits our family a lot better so yeah my first tip would be just to let go of some of the toys and then when you reach a level that you're comfortable with operate a one in one out policy so that if they get a new toy then they're going to get rid of a old toy and involve them in the decluttering process, you'd be surprised that they get it. My second big tip would be about their wardrobe. I know this is really hard to do when they're little babies because they go through so many outfits of clothes, but we probably did this when my youngest was about 14, 15 months old. So we'd kind of got out of that baby baby stage but then yeah still needing a few more outfits than my other son but we um we capsulized their wardrobes so we got rid of a lot and just really reduced the amount of clothes that we have and it's helped on having like less washing to do and kind of just being able to find things and put outfits together because it all works together like in a capsule wardrobe you'll kind of pick a palette or something that goes together I would still say I've got too many clothes for them and I want to reduce that further and it's going to be something that I'm gonna look at doing again but it was first kind of steps into capsule wardrobe so um yeah so I didn't go too nuts I think I went for like seven trousers seven tops um seven sets of pyjamas and yeah didn't count the pants and underwear and things and like jumpers because it was winter seven jumpers that was it 
So it's actually quite a lot and that's quite a big capsule wardrobe and I'm gonna reduce that down I think because we've still got mountains of washing and we can do better. But yeah, like I said, I'm on the early stages of my journey so I'm getting there. Definitely a smaller wardrobe helps. And with my eldest son, who's like I said nearly four, he's starting to be able to go and get his own clothes out of his drawer and things. He doesn't like doing it all the time, but with a bit of encouragement, he'll go and pick his own outfit. And it gives him complete freedom to pick what he wants as well. So that's a, that's a nice element of it. If you just want a bit of inspiration and to see where I've got to, then I will link my I've done two toy decluttering videos so you can see actually what we do own and what I've got rid of and yeah I'm kind of just doing it gently with the boys so that I'm not taking all their toys away at once <laughs> but that we're kind of all together as a family moving towards minimalism and yeah the other um, video that I will link is the capsule wardrobe one so you can actually see what I've put together for the boys and things if that is of interest. I've also got um, room tours of both their rooms so you can see see that and yeah I would say I still have a long way to go there is a lot more that we can get rid of so this is just my journey into minimalism if you've got any tips of how to minimize your life when you've got kids please do let me know I and mean, that's why I've started this channel so that I can share and chat to other people because in my own life I don't really talk that much about um, simplifying my life and minimalism and things because unless you know someone's got that kind of common interest and in things it's a bit of a odd thing to talk about but um, yeah I mean that's why I'm on here because I want to meet other people and get to know you and just learn from each other and thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed my little tips <laughs> thanks bye